We are here with Nando Fraser from Crosscook on a long weekend, the 21st and 24th September. We will attempt to break the Guinness World Record for the longest continual barbecue marathon. He plans to drive for 72 hours one stop. So Nando, tell us a little bit about yourself and what made you decide to go for this challenge. Well, it's quite a long story actually. Um, Having chef uh, sort of background and whatever, um, just I felt like I needed to do something to challenge myself. And initially we wanted to go with the, uh, you know, the sort of the spirit that Jan Bry set up or had in mind when he started the Bry Day to unite the people of South Africa around the Bry fires, like Heritage Day, Bry Day. A bry for heritage basically it's one thing we all share so the original idea was to see how many people we can get to bry together in one spot at one time and we approached the guinness book of records and they came back to us and they said the record we had to beat for that specific one was 44,000 people unfortunately grasco not big enough and we didn't have enough time so we started looking around because now we'd already, you know, got the ball rolling. Um, so we settled on this, and while I, did, you know, we had to resubmit the application and whatever, and the, while they were getting back to us with the rules, someone had broken the previous record of 32 hours, 62 hours. So I had to go for 72 hours, and that's where we are. So what we're going to do. Nandu, tell us more about the event, what do you have to do, what does the challenge entail, what are the rules? Um, okay, we still don't have all the rules, but what we have thus far is I basically have to have five meat items, five different cuts of meat on the grill at all times. Now, if we start Friday morning, 9 o'clock, um, it's basically 144 kilos roughly of meat that I'll be cooking throughout the weekend. And yeah, we want to see if we can use that food to feed at least a thousand orphans. If not feed them, maybe exchange the food for school clothes, you know, school shoes, uh, books, toiletries, whatever. We just want to benefit a thousand kids that are in desperate need. So you're basically going to buy five pieces at all time? Yeah. And you're going to sell those? Yeah, either or sell or swap. You're going to sell or swap, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. luckily we've had some really good sponsorship um, that makes it possible for us to be able to just give the food away or to trade it. You know, we don't have to pay for anything, so we don't have to sell anything to make money. Okay, but basically you have to buy for 72 hours. 72 Next hours, stop. yeah. Sure. They will tell me, I'm still waiting to find out exactly how the brakes work and if there are brakes. Um, initially it was five minutes for every hour that you, you know, on the event basically are active with it. Um, but last year they changed it to one break every 12 hours. That sounds quite tough. Mm -hmm. So how, well, are you, challenge. how are you preparing yourself? Are you going to stay awake for three days? Well, I've been doing dry runs to see exactly how long I can stay awake for without any stimulant, without any sugar, any coffee or whatever, just to get my head around what the fatigue will start to feel like, you know. Um, I'm also spending more time than usual around fire to sort of get my eyes used to the smoke and <laughs> the, you know, smoke inhalation and all of that. Um, and a total detox. No sugar, no, no coffee, no caffeine, no alcohol, no stimulants whatsoever. Um, so that if I do start to get tired here yeah, by maybe the 53rd hour or so, a cup of coffee would actually give me the kick to see it through. And you're not allowed, are they testing you afterwards for any stimulants or things? You don't know. I don't know. Can you, can you take like rack markers or...? I can't see why not. I suppose Not anything that you can buy, you know, legally. <laughs> Otherwise, you get all messed up and stand and buy there for two weeks. <laughs> yeah. what, do you, what do you hope to achieve with this challenge once, once everything is over? What are your goals? Just to challenge myself to see if I can actually do it. And like I said, the, the secondary benefit, which has actually become the main focus of the whole thing, is to, to benefit the children. Um, there's the three feeding schemes and an orphanage, maybe possibly two orphanages, 
um, to make up the numbers, you know, for the thousand kids. And yeah, I just want to do it for them. And also, uh, one of the founders of one of the feeding schemes that we will benefit um, is Bobby Duffett. He's a good friend of ours, of me and my family. And um, yeah, he died not so long ago. And I just want to do it, you know, in honor of his memory, as a, just as a tribute. Do you feel ready? Do you feel nervous? What is going through your mind when you lie in bed at night? Do you think about this? <laughs> Just how good it feels to be lying in that bed and how I'm gonna... <laughs> Are you gonna miss it? <laughs> I'm gonna miss it. Yeah. No, yeah, just slight nervousness, but... Yeah, yeah I think I'm as ready. the morning when you start, it's gonna, you're gonna feel Yeah, it. I'll see you on the day. Because mentally, I think I'm in the zone, mm -hmm. as prepared as I can be. Excellent. Now, if people want to get involved, how can they get involved? What can they do? What do you need? Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, yes, um, basically come and keep me awake, pop in for a chat, bring a bribe pack, I'll bribe for you. <laughs> um, yeah, people can just come and eat, you know, there'll be pop, there'll be bread rolls and whatever available on the day and either make a donation, whether it's, you know, money or whether it's school shoes, toys, anything that, you know, destitute and needy children would be able to benefit by, blankets, clothes books, vitamins, yeah, you name it. Um, and that's happening uh, at Kanimambo in Yeah, Trusco. Kanimambo will yeah, be the host. In front. And they, uh, the, the newly built drumming circle, because um, while I'm brying, people have to be a specific distance away from me. The, the public can't sort of touch me and get too close. So that drumming circle will then be my base for that weekend. I'll be in the middle of it, and yeah, it's right next to the main road in Graskop, and people can come and support and see me and watch it all go down. This is a funny thing I was thinking of. Are you allowed to sit and Brian? No rules like that. You have to stand. I have to stand. I can even you have, have to a stand beer. Three days. Yeah. <laughs> I've done it before. I'm sure I can do it. Anything else you would like to add? Last words, last thoughts. Yeah, please come and show your support, and like I said. Coming for a chat, especially uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening from three until <laughs> half past seven in the morning. <laughs> well, Nando, you know, good luck. I think it's a brilliant challenge. Good luck. Thank you very much. We certainly will support you. Yeah. Hope for the best. And we will look look for your name in a Guinness Book of World Records. Well, we're going to have the certificate embossed. You know, do it like in a. Uh, what do you call it, like a bronze plate or whatever, and mounted on the drumming circle for posterity. Excellent. <laughs> cool, Gilmore, thank you very much.